good morning. It's Sunday. It's about 11.30. I'm headed to the dollar store because um, today is Serena, which is Kat's great-granddaughter. Uh, she's, she's turning two. And um, I got her some of those uh, My Little Ponies. And Kathy got her gifts, and we need a couple gift bags. And so, Kat and Mark are at church, and I just, and basically, she asked me to go pick up a couple gift bags. So that's what I'm on my way to do, listening to the Beatles. <clears throat> I don't know if any of you out there um, have seen the um, Carpool Karaoke with James Corden, but he did a Carpool karaoke with Paul McCartney and it was fantastic I really loved it you gotta check it out definitely it's it's listed on YouTube anyway I'm headed to the Dollar General I've got a lot on my mind because um, I've been talking to a couple of ladies that live near Dallas Fort Worth um, both of them are going to see Celtic Thunder when I'm gonna see them so that's in November 30th, but there's this Irish festival that's in Kansas City, Missouri, coming up August 31st. It's three days, and uh, this woman that I'm talking to has a hotel room at the Sheridan, which is right across the street from the festival. It does come with two tickets to the, um, you know, to the festival, I guess, so it's worth some money. Anyway... I don't know her, but we're starting to talk, and um, she said, yeah, you know, she's going to check to see if she can either change the room to two beds or a, a rollaway bed, and then I asked her how much it would cost for the three nights, and she said something like $445, something like that, I can't remember, and um, then I'm starting to think, well, yeah, but that's eight-hour drive at least eight hours, probably nine hours stopping for gas and bathroom. Each way for me. <sighs> Plus, you know, I don't even know if I could drive nine hours without at least halfway staying at a motel. So I'm talk we're talking, you know, a lot of money. You know, money always is the freaking thing that stops me probably stops most of us so I don't know you know it's always the money and that's the saddest thing because man if I could tell my younger self you know to have saved money wouldn't that have been a smart move you know I would have probably been an art teacher and had you know a retirement that's worth it but you can't go back, you know. I mean, if I could, if I talk to young people, which I sometimes do, I do want to tell them how hard it is when you get to our age, you know, 60s, even 50s, 60s, 70s, and you want to do things, but it's like, how much money do you have? Because if you don't have that kind of money, you know, you really can't do anything. So. That's what's on my mind today. I'm going to go into the dollar store right now and get what I need and um, probably talk some more in this video. I don't know. My videos are all like kind of pieces of my life put together. That's probably why they're so long. And I know some people like long videos. Some people hate long videos. I've done both. Lately, it seems like I'm doing longer ones. Here, it's 93 degrees at 1130. And uh, we'll talk later. Tubers, RV Debs here with you. I just checked the mail and I got a present from Barney, Barney and LaRue, as I recall. They sent me a head. <laughs> this is great, Barney and LaRue. Thank you. Because now when I go to paint, hold on a minute. Ugh. It's much easier to paint with a hat, with a head holder like that. Plus it makes good for pictures. So thank you so much. Oh my gosh. They sent me the necklace and bracelet holders. So I am so, I am so appreciative of it. Thank you so much. This is going to really help. I was kind of holding off 
doing this last hat because I it was hard to stuff it with material and, and, and paint on it. But this makes it a lot easier. So I just wanted to thank you so much. I really do thank you. And it's just the coolest it is. What a nice surprise. Thank you very much. Have a great day. And I really, really do appreciate this. It's another sunny day here in Texas. RV Deb's here with you. It is Monday. And it's about, well, today wasn't as bad as yesterday. It's about 90-something degrees. Yesterday was like 102, so this doesn't feel so bad, actually. Sunny and warm. Yeah, I never thought I'd say that I was happy that it was 100, that it was 90-something instead of 100. And I was just taking a break. I've been doing Sharpies on a, another white hat with my new stand that I got from Barney and LaRue. So kind of them. Really makes it easier for me to have a head so I can put the hat on it and be able to, you know, do the top of the hat easy, easier. Yay! Alright, so Rosie's over there eating grass and Lily's rolling in the grass. Look at her. She loves the heat. She loves the grass. Good morning, everyone. It's Tuesday. Ruby Tuesday. Walking the puppies down the alleyway. Hope you're all doing well. I, I'm getting ready for another hot, hot day because it feels hot already. Usually in the morning, it's not too hot. <laughs> it's going to be about 100 degrees today. Yay. Oh, well. Basically, I have to just, like, sort of lay low, you know? I painted another hat, but I've sold all my hats. Even the one I painted. A darling friend of mine's buying them for their, his family which I'm forever grateful for. So, I might be getting out canvas and start painting paintings. Yep. And, uh, that's what's going on. Last night we had a little scare. Kathy's mom, Mary, she was feeling pretty bad that, late last night and called Kathy and Kathy took her to the hospital and she was dehydrated so I, I guess they pushed IV fluids and gave her medication she doesn't drink a lot of water because she you get old your bladder gets weak and she's like almost 90 now and anyway she's feeling better today and she's home get up get up go home Get home. Lily, get going. Go. Gonna make some coffee. Start my day. Come on, girls. Let's go. Woo wee. It's hot out here. I have a lot of shade, thank goodness. I'll tell you, the RV carport is worth its weight in gold. Come on, Lily. Hey. Hi, YouTubers. RV Debs here. It is Tuesday about, well, it's about 12.30 in the afternoon. I've been watching videos, basically. And I just felt like chatting, so I thought I would put the, the camera on. And um, it's very warm out, as I probably say every time I talk now. It's just that I'm not used to 100 degrees. I don't care. Dry, wet heat. 100 degrees is hot, no matter whether you live in Florida, Texas, or Palm Springs, California. I finished my last hat that I had bought. This is my final hat. And this is the stand that um, Barney and LaRue sent me. 
very nice people. But it's really nice because what I really wanted was something that I could draw on and have a hard surface. So not only is it a nice display, it is really good for me to, to work with. And I got to tell you, um, you know, being on YouTube, I've met I've met lots and lots of people, uh, a lot of people that I have never met in person, but you can talk to someone and get to know them without seeing them in person. And um, I've had several, several friendships form like that. And eventually I hope to meet some of these people, and I probably will. I mean, I'm the same in person as I am here. Of course, in when I'm in person with my, you know, when I'm here, I'm not always in the, the best mood or I'm not always, you know, ready to talk. So when I turn the camera on, I am, you know, we're, we're, we're different. It's not 24 seven that I'm always this way. Oh man. Uh, I gotta tell you, I also bought a few more things on wish and this was, I got it yesterday. I think it was yesterday. It's a bird cage and this side is the bird on a swing. Isn't that cute? I couldn't resist. I have certain weaknesses and one of them is definitely jewelry. And I usually make my own, but um, lately I have really saw some cute stuff, so why not, right? And I am trying to um, put together I'm going to be, I'm, I've got one plan and solid, uh, Ramona, Paul, and I. And Ramona and Paul have a channel called Nomadic RV, and we went to Spur, Texas last week, but we decided we were going to actually make a little bit bigger of a trip. So um, July 10th, 11th, and 12th, we're going to be in Fredericksburg, Texas, which is about three hours from here supposed to have lots of shops, lots of activities, uh, wine tasting places. I'm not sure exactly all it has, but it, it's got a downtown uh, Main Street full of, of stuff, action, you know, and people go there a lot. So we booked an Airbnb. It's the first time I'll be at staying at one. And we got a two bedroom entire house. So we'll see how that looks. I can't wait to video and do that. That's that's something really fun to look forward to. And, um, you know, not everybody can you hang out with like that, but Ramona and Paul and I, <clears throat> we, we think a lot alike and um, we enjoy each other's company. <clears throat> it should be fun. Would it be more fun if I had my, you know, my other? Yes, but I'm not gonna stay home. I'm going. And <clears throat> on top of that, my trip to uh, the Dallas area in November, the end of November to see Celtic Thunder is already a trip that I'm, I've already, of course, I, I bought the tickets, so I'm going. <clears throat> but um, anyway, I was talking to uh, ladies um, on Facebook that are in the fan club for Celtic Thunder, and they are they are like major fans. They've been to several concerts. They go on their Celtic Thunder cruise. Uh, they do a retreat in Washington. I mean, th these people uh, have gone and met them all. And so they're going to be going August 31st uh, through September 3rd in Kansas City, Missouri. There's a uh, like a three-day Irish festival and uh, Byrne and Kelly do two concerts. Oh my gosh, I want to go, but I, I have a, it's like a nine hour, it's an eight hour drive, but I figure nine, maybe nine hours with stopping. Not sure I can afford it. We're going to, I'm going to try. I really, I really want to go. And these are nice ladies and um, I can share a room with one of the ladies at the Sheridan, which is right like across the street from the festival but it's expensive even just for you know sharing a room I, it was more money than I really want to spend like I think she said it came to like 460 a month a month 460 for the the weekend or the, I don't even know three days three nights 
460 for three nights and then $25 extra a night to get a um, rollaway bed, which doesn't seem that comfortable and it's a lot of money for half. So then I started looking at Airbnbs there and it's possible that I could actually have um, an, a nice bedroom in a beautiful home close by. Of course, it, you know, it's just a bedroom with a bathroom and it might be a little less, I'm not sure. So I'm still checking to see if I can arrange that and if I can get money together. Money, money, money. Last night I was talking to a really nice man who I've been talking to for a long time. He's seen all my videos and uh, we're Facebook friends. So we do talk via message a lot. And, um, you know, he said, I'm gonna buy all your hats and help you with getting money together. And he did. So last night I sold all the hats I painted and I'm sending them to him this coming week. I'll send them out. <clears throat> Blew my mind. I mean, this is a nice man and um, we both are, are lost our, our mates. I lost mine four years ago and he lost his three years ago. I think we really understand what it's like to just have that that loss and that emptiness that you don't just fill up. I mean can't just replace that. You can't. Um, th but that doesn't mean that you can't continue living because I think both our our spouses would want us to, to live and be happy. Um, and I don't I don't know what what will come of it. I hope someday to meet to meet him and we'll see you know it's all it's he lives far away. But I really care about him. So I, he knows who he is. And I wanted to thank you from the bottom of my heart because I'm going to try to put that money on the side for, I want to try to go to the Kansas City, Missouri um, festival to see the, the guys from Celtic Thunder, two concerts, plus all the other stuff that, you know, I'm sure it's fun. I'm excited about it. I, I just, it, it's going to cost because I got a big truck and the gas to go, you know what, I don't know how many miles it is, but like under 500 miles, but still it's a lot of gas. I don't get the greatest gas mileage and I'm not even sure I could like drive nine hours I guess I could I just it would be pushing me pushing myself and then another thing um, people have said check the Kelly blue book of course I have of course I know this I'm, I mean I'm older my dad was a car dealer car sh car salesman and of course I know about the Kelly blue book and uh the value of my truck. I, I basically do know it. I'm going to check it again since it, it's been a, I guess it's been about six months since I looked. So I don't know. But um, that's something I've got to think about and what I want to do, you know, if, when I want to sell it. I would really like to, to be able to, you know, have someone with me to, uh, you know, check a van if I see it. But anyway, Besides, that's besides the point of this, this call, conversation. I just wanted to let you all know I do know about the Kelly Blue Book, of course. And my, my vehicle's in real good condition. I mean, it's not, I wouldn't call it excellent because it's, you know, how could it be after so many years? But I would say it's in real good condition. And um, so that helps. And it has low miles. So that, that's two really good things that's in my favor. And it's got a lot of life, let me tell you. That sucker can drive. And I enjoy driving it. I just wish that it had a topper. And again, I'm going to say it because most people keep asking me, I can't put a topper on the back of a Chevy Avalanche. They, the way they're built, they don't have... It's not the same as a regular truck back, truck bed. They don't have like the nice camper toppers, or I would have really, I've done that. I would have definitely gone for that. So I don't know, but you know, there's different ways to go about it. And uh, I'm definitely, well, definitely, you should never say definitely, but I definitely want to attend the RTR and whether I have to get, get a tent and, and camp out for the week or go to a motel or B and B Airbnb for that week because I'm gonna go in January because that'll be it'll be a blast. What else? 
I have to fight, you know, feeling down. I think we all do at certain points in our life. It's not like I'm a totally depressed person. I'm not. Last night, though, uh, Mary, I, I think I've already mentioned this, but, you know, Mary was not feeling good, and she called Kathy, and she basically said she wanted to go and be checked out. So we have an, a little hospital here. So she was there for a few hours. She was totally dehydrated, and she has a, um, oh, an infection, a bladder infection. She doesn't drink a lot of water. And the reason she doesn't drink a lot of water is because she's 89, and when she drinks a lot of water, she has to pee and sometimes can't make it to the bathroom because her bladder's weak. And it sucks to get old, but, you know, like, again, it's... If she has to wear the pens, then she's going to have to just get used to it. <laughs> I feel sorry for her, but, you know, she, she's got to drink water, especially on these days. It's over 100 degrees. Usually she has, like, this little tiny bottle of water, and that's what she drinks. It's like, no. Even I, I don't drink enough water. I try, but um, sometimes, you know, I don't either, so I've got to make sure I do. And I have a hernia. Uh, I got it from a gallbladder. I had my gallbladder out laparoscopically many years ago, before I met my husband. So it's like, you know, a long time ago. And right around the belly button area, I have a hernia. <clears throat> and if I strain myself and I do a lot of stuff, if I carry a lot of stuff, it, it hurts. And sometimes it hurts for a whole day, like today. I have a, 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 it's just a certain kind of discomfort. So today's kind of a slow day, but um, tonight at 5.30, we're all going to go to Isabella's for dinner. Pantera, Mary, my, uh, me, Mark and Kat. So I'm not going to eat anything until dinner tonight. I had some, uh, I've got some organic sprouted, uh, 21 grain bread. It's, um, I think it's like 60 calories to toast one for one slice. And I had an avocado and smashed it on it. And that was what I had today. And I'm not going to eat anything else until I go to dinner. And that's what's happening here. And I'm so grateful to the people I know online. I mean, I can't believe how wonderful it is to have you guys. I really feel close to a lot of you. I mean, I feel like I know you. I know you know me. That's the weirdest thing is that people who watch my videos, um, they know all about my life because I've been doing this three years. And when I'm talking to them, you know, I don't really know much about them, even though they try to share, but it's different. I've shared so much. And some people don't know how to be a friend. And I, I mean, there's no name here. I won't, I won't give a name, but some people just are, you know, kind of argumentative or always find, you know, a fault in something you say, take it wrong and, and then go with it and get pissed off and they know who they are. I just, I'm over it. I mean, I don't understand. I don't understand that kind of person, really. That's one of the things that I've been very, very gifted and grateful for is my friends. I mean, I have friends for so many years. I've got friends that I met when I was 12 that are still my dear friends. Uh, the woman, Chris, that drove me to Texas from Alabama. I, I, like I said, I've, I knew her. I think I was about 15, 16 when I met her. And we're we're still good friends. We don't we don't get on each other's nerves like some people it seems like I don't know. I, anyway, um it just doesn't take long to figure out whether somebody's a true friend or if they've got mental problems or they are manic depressive or who knows, sometimes you don't even know because you're not with someone and then if they're on the phone with you or they're texting and they take something wrong and they, they just blow up at you like so um, 
I've learned my lesson with this person in particular. That's okay because it can't be a big loss if a person's never been a true friend. That's for sure. I'm just sharing. Isn't this cute? That's a sunshiny hat. So it's going to go in the mail with the other hats this person bought. One, two, three. One, two, three. Three full baseball caps and a sun visor. And then I sold another sun visor to someone else. So I'm done with that. Now I'm either going to get more hats to paint. Let me know if you guys are interested. Or I'm going to start painting paintings. And I've already promised some people out there they've asked me to paint um, a dog that's for Tim I'm gonna try to paint his doggy he sent me pictures somebody wanted a turtle something like a, a sea turtle I got to do that so it's hot out there might as well sit in here and paint and uh, it gets messy but <clears throat> it feels good to be busy and I have to be busy to be happy I hope you don't mind me sharing today all the, all the different things I'm thinking about. That's what's ha that's what's nice about having my channel is I feel like I've got my friends to talk to. I wanted to thank you guys again for being there for me and always caring. And uh, it does help when you um, make comments and do thumbs up and listen to the advertisements so that I can, you know, create an income with YouTube. Uh, as far as a, a YouTube, it's it's not a big thing, but it it does help. So yeah, and it does it does take time. I've said this before. It's not something that you throw together. When you make videos and you uh, produce them and then send them up to YouTube, there's a lot of time. It's like a it's like a job. It is. It's not a full time job. At least it isn't for me. But it's definitely a job. And I like this job. And you should like your job. Whatever you do. If you're going to do it, you need to enjoy it. And I do enjoy it. And, um, <clears throat> but anyway, so any way I can get help that way, that, that's fantastic. And last month I, I did better than ever uh, for the month of, um, was it May? I, I made money in May. I don't get it till, actually I got it. I did get money June 21st. They pay you on the 21st. And uh, I am looking forward to June being a real good month. So far, it's real good. And just I'm really appreciative of those of you who suffer through the advertisement or uh, at least take the time to give me a thumbs up and in the comments. I think all of it adds together. So thank you. Peace out, my friends.